I am so looking forward to doing this Holy Grail unboxing. Hopefully you'll enjoy it too. If you want to know what it is, just stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and look at this. You get to see one of my cats. And this is We Love Comics. And also, some people love the cats, but I'll leave that up to you. And I have a Grail comic that I want to share with you. Now, it's not very often I get to buy books like this, but every six months or so, I have a one of my clients does a um, reordering of a package special deal that I offer. And um, this time around, I didn't have, knock on wood, my car breakdown. So this about six months ago, I got the same person to renew their package, but my car needed about $2,000 worth of repair, which was pretty much, after I paid some other bills, all of the money to be able to buy something nice. So the last time I was able to buy a more expensive book, and this is by means not massively expensive, was the X-Men number one comic. So it's been a little while. Some I've gotten, you know, only maybe five, six, seven hundred dollar range, eight hundred dollar range, but not many books past that until this one. Now, um, it's a book based on a video I talked about about a week, week and a half ago, and there's been some big increases in this book. And um, I paid the highest I've ever paid for this book, but. I still paid under what the current value is. So, I'm about to show that, and I want to tell people, never give up. Don't get discouraged. Sometimes things can come around the corner, and when you least expect it, deals will pop up. I just made two other deals that I won on eBay just the other day, where one of them is about, they could be 0.5s, and I still would end up making out on the deal. So there are always deals to be found. You just have to be patient. I want to keep stressing that. Don't give up. Because once you give up, you are guaranteed failure. So this took me almost a year to accumulate the amount of money with that package to be able to get this. Now, I luckily, I already own this. This was one of the books that got stolen from me. This is actually my third copy of this book. And I will be getting it graded. So I love sharing it with you guys that appreciate the love of comics. So you may have guessed what it is, but just in case, there it is. Incredible Hulk 181, which is the first full appearance of Wolverine. Now, this one, there is a tear from here to here. So it goes all the way. That tape is on the actual... Um, plastic container here the holder but not the comic book the reds look absolutely beautiful and if you could see there are very minuscule color breaks there's a color break here there's a couple of little color break oh, it would help if i put it in the camera a couple of little lines that break color little minor ones a color break here here and again these are minor these are like maybe a quarter of an inch at most two little ones here one there. This has the Marvel stamp, but we are going to check it just to make sure. So I am going to take it out. So this book, even with that tear, is probably about a 5.5. Now that is going for about, as of now, about $2,300. So here's one thing I stress. If you're going to take a book out, especially an expensive one, do this. Remove the tape. Last thing you want is to get the tape stuck on the book. Believe me, I have done it, and it's not a, a fun experience. All right, so back of the book looks a little dirty, but overall looks really nice. There's only one little wrinkle here, but there's no break color, breaking of color. 
So a pressing will absolutely help this book. Uh, creamed off-white pages. Let's make sure the most important part. Now, they showed an image of the Marvel stamp, but I don't want to assume because we know what that does. So it should be coming up. There we go. Okay. So there is the Marvel stamp. Let's just check the centerfold while we're at it. It should be right here. Both staples are intact. They are not rusty at all. Very much liking that. So let's see a quick little image of Wolverine for you. It's funny because you don't see him a lot. So there's an image right there. Let's see if we could find a bigger one, a better one. All right, so it looks like no coupons have been removed. Yeah, the funny part is this is the full appearance of Wolverine, and you don't really see too much of him. So there you go. There's another image of Wolverine, a better image. I think it's the first page where you see the best one, which is right there. So overall, except, as you could see, it's got a little bit of a tear. It actually doesn't go as far as I thought. So it actually stops right about here. So this book, with a pressing, because you can see it's got a little bit of a miswrap. And the way you can tell is, see all that white? See how it disappears as it goes further down? So a pressing would actually help this book. Um, I would say, even with this tear, because you are allowed, from 5.5 to 7.0, you are allowed one major flaw on the cover, as long as everything else is pretty much doesn't have anything major. In other words, there weren't 50,000 you know, tears and rips here, you're allowed one big thing. So this would probably come out to about a 5.5. Um, it does look like somebody traced the word Hulk in all the lettering. So there is some indents. I don't know if pressing will help that. That wasn't talked about, but even still, that might lower it to a 5.0. Still not bad. I paid a total with shipping and handling a little expensive, but worth it, because I'm thinking long-term. Like, if you saw the video I did the other day, thinking long-term. I spent $1,814 for this book. And to me, that is totally worth it. And I want to be careful about this. So I'm going to put this in another bag and board. So when, and it's not if, when Wolverine is in his first Marvel movie... Forget about it. This book is going to fall off the face of the earth. So this is a great book to add to your collection, even in a lower grade. I've been stressing it for a long time. This is now my third copy, and um, hopefully the third time is the charm. So don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want one, you just have to be a subscriber, and just let me know in the comments section. I will put you on the list. Uh, do, do keep in mind that it does take a little while. And sometimes, think about it. This book a year ago could have been purchased for about 700 So I paid 1800 which may seem like a lot now. But if you look up the value of this book, even at a 5.0, that book is going for about $2,200 now. In another two years or so, this book will probably be about a $3,000 book. I could be wrong, but it's worth taking the chance on. So whether you agree or not, that's up to you. I'm happy, and that's all that should matter. So thanks for listening. If you want to give it a thumbs up, that's always great. If you want to hit subscribe, I would love to have you here. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. And see, Wolverine's claws are so good, he even teared through the comic. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.